Alright, so I felt like I wanted to do a couple changes to my story. It's not really something like huge. The changes are not like fundamentally changing the story or anything. Uh, I am going to change most of the names, probably all of the names, clothing, and mostly where they are from because I decided I wanted to have my story play in America because I know more about, about America than I know about Japan. This is something that I've thought about for a bit and also was that was pointed out by someone under a video that I think it was my October video that my story seems very Japanese. They told me that their story was also very Japanese until they realized that they knew nothing about Japan. And I was also thinking about that and so I decided that for now I think I'm gonna just make it American. So there are a few things changing. It's nothing that's gonna affect the course of the story too much, which it doesn't really matter because you don't know the course of the story anyway. So here's one of the things I changed. This used to be Matsuri. Now her name is just Maya. M-A-I-A -A. and she has less of a fringe than she used to. She's not wearing her uniform because there is no uniform in my story now. They're just going to a normal school and that's gonna make me have a much easier time. So much easier. Honestly, one of the biggest things that made me decide to change the story is that I don't really watch anime. I don't really read manga, which is crazy. I know considering I draw manga and all that, but I don't really watch anime and I don't really read manga to be completely honest. And I know it sounds kind of crazy and I know it's kind of weird, but it's just not really my thing. Never was, which is kind of weird compared to other people especially. I used to really like manga, I used to really like uh, anime. And this is not me saying I hate anime or manga. This is just me saying that I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, I'm not like, let's go to a million conventions and let's ship all the characters together and let's, I don't know, whatever anime or, or I guess they're called otakus. I was called a weeb a few months ago and I didn't even know what that meant. So that's how much I... I'm not a weeb. Uh, <laughs> I still enjoy an anime sometimes and I just prefer other stuff, you know? So. One of the hardest things for me to change was definitely the clothes. Um, I have... For so many years I have been kind of trained, if you want, on Japanese clothes and uniforms and all that. And now I'm just gonna have to go with normal clothes, which is exciting, it's new, you know, it's like, oh my god. But the thing is like, like there's a million choices, that's the problem, I think that's the problem. If I draw them in a uniform, that's fine, you know, but they're not gonna be able to wear normal clothes like this every day, the same stuff. So that's gonna be a little bit trickier. The names have been changed. Uh, there's most of them are completely new names now. Kuzame does not have one yet. Um, he's the only character that I have not given a different name. It's because it's so hard. It really has to fit him and I can't seem to find a name that would fit him. I don't want to go with like generic American names. I've been going on websites where you can look for names like baby names and stuff like that and name generators and stuff like that and I have gone through lists of lists and I've written down lists and I but I haven't found one for him yet. I kind of wanted to start with a K mostly and it should not sound like Maya. Uh, I had recommend I had someone recommend me Kai, K-A-I, which I love and I feel like it would fit him but Maya and her short is my and then if he's called Kai it's just weird. I don't want people to think they're twins, which it's not It's not the case, so that's a little bit trickier. Uh, the other names are all here. If you remember from my Inktober video, if you watched that, I introduced all my characters and the names have now changed. Um, they don't have last names so far, so Masao becomes Adam. Matsuri becomes Maya, as I said, short Mai. So that stays the same, it was gonna be Mai anyways for Matsuri. Uh, Shuichi becomes Jasper, Akio becomes Eli. I'm also thinking about making it colored or black and white, I'm not sure yet. Because if I make it black and white, I can use my screen tone technique. If I make it colored, I can use my inks, it's just... Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, Riko becomes Summer, Natsu becomes Alex, Hiroshi Sato. Now this is the father from Summer. I'm already better at re um, memorizing the names. <laughs> 
uh, and he is called Cyrus. Then we have Ayumi, uh, that's... she becomes Sage. Funny thing is that the character that she was inspired by is also called Sage, um, and I don't care. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do that. Since Summer is supposed to be this gorgeous girl, I'm really into redheads and uh, ginger girls, so I felt like drawing her as a redhead would make it easier for me to find her very attractive, because I tried drawing her very beautiful in the way that everyone else would find her beautiful, and I feel like that's not gonna work out because I don't know what other people find beautiful. I know what I find beautiful, so she's gonna be a uh, ginger. Probably. I go on Pinterest a lot. I look at stuff there, I look at art there, I look at inspiration there, and a lot of times I will see art from somebody that I really like, but they never signed it, so I never, I'm never able to find that. So this is where my important information comes in. So I have made about 180 of these because I always lose them somehow. I don't know how, and they just disappear and never find them again. You just write your handle on there if it's Instagram, your YouTube channel, or Tumblr, or whatever Twitter name, you write on there. Then someone can just look at your username, Google it, and will find your handle there. There account, whatever account you have. It's really important to have something like this or you write it onto your drawing or you put a watermark on there or whatever you want to do as long as you actually have something to get found by. For example, I just take this and I put it on my drawing and then I take a picture for Instagram and then I upload it like that. This way it saves me a lot of time. I used to do it with my phone with an app but that's really annoying so I just did it like this. You can write it next to it, you can do whatever you want as long as your name is on your drawing that you post on the internet so that people can find you. That's all the batteries now flashing, so I'm gonna leave you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh look, we have a little fly friend. Oh, it flew away. All right, bye guys. Have a nice weekend.